Mullen Automotive is working on a solid state battery. But what is a solid state battery? How does it work? There are so many questions, and don't worry, we'll get all the answers. Mullen's testing of solid state polymer cells reveals the potential for a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack that delivers over 600 plus miles of range and highlights an 18 minute DC fast charge with a yield of over 300 miles of range. Mullen is working towards utilizing solid state polymer battery packs in its second generation Mullen 5 EV crossovers with in-vehicle prototype testing set for 2025. Mullen's first generation 5 EV crossover due in late 2024 is planned to launch with traditional lithium ion cell chemistry. Welcome to eMotion. In today's video, you'll get to know all the details about Mullen Automotive and their solid state battery testing, so make sure you watch the video till the end. Mullen is also conducting extensive research and development into other advanced battery technologies, including lithium sulfur and lithium iron phosphate. Mullen's ultimate goal is to deliver EV batteries that will surpass today's existing lithium ion technology and offer a host of benefits such as increased efficiency, energy density, and range while also lowering the cost, weight, thermal, and environmental risks. We've conducted successful testing and will begin pack level development next, said David Mitchery, CEO and chairman of Mullen Automotive. Test data collected shows an impressive outcome in future for solid state batteries. To sum up, we tested our 300 amp hour cell, which yielded 343 amp hours at 4.3 volts, and the results surpassed all expectations. We can say with almost certainty that this technology, once implemented on the Mullen 5, will deliver over 600 miles of range on a full charge. The future is bright for Mullen Automotive. Mullen has recently announced a string of key partnerships with Hoffer Powertrain, Komau, Arc, Dur, and DSA systems for EV powertrain, engineering, manufacturing, vehicle production systems, and over-the-air and vehicle system diagnostics, respectively. Mullen Automotive announced solid-state polymer battery testing with the Battery Innovation Center in Indiana. BIC's mission is focused on prompting the rapid development, testing, commercialization, and advanced learning of safe, reliable, high-performance, and lightweight energy storage systems for commercial, defense, academic partners, and industry. According to the update, the Battery Innovation Center will perform constant current discharge, peak power and constant power discharge tests on Mullen's solid-state polymer battery to assess cell capabilities and associated performance. Mullen previously highlighted test results conducted by EV Grid, whereafter Tom Gage from EV Grid was featured on the Risk On podcast to discuss the test data showing an impressive outcome and future for solid-state batteries. We have begun working with the Battery Innovation Center located in Indiana to retest and clarify our solid-state battery, said David Mitchery, CEO and Chairman of Mullen Automotive. BIC is a well-respected battery laboratory, and we look forward to publishing their results related to cell testing coming up in May. What is a solid-state battery for an electric car? A solid-state battery is a rechargeable energy storage system similar in overall structure and operation to the more familiar lithium-ion battery. The two differ in that a lithium-ion battery contains a liquid electrolyte, while a solid-state battery, as its name suggests, features a solid one. This allows solid-state batteries to be lighter, have more energy density, offer more storage, and recharge faster. The challenge to making solid-state batteries viable is developing technology commonly used in small devices and applying it to large-scale productions like electric vehicles. What is a solid-state battery and how does it work? By doing away with the sloshing flammable liquid electrolyte, solid-state batteries are by default more stable and compact. The solid-state electrolyte can be composed of any number of everyday materials like ceramics and glass. Solid-state batteries have been used in small devices like pacemakers as well as RFID and wearable devices for years. Having fewer bits and pieces means fewer things can go wrong. In addition to improved safety, size, and stability, solid-state batteries in EVs would also offer faster charging times, more travel range, and even greater energy density. Solid-state batteries can reach an 80% charge within 15 minutes and incur less strain after multiple charging cycles. A lithium-ion battery will begin to degrade and lose power capacity after a thousand cycles. On the other hand, a solid-state battery will maintain 90% of its capacity after 5,000 cycles. When will solid-state batteries be used in electric cars? For all its benefits, scaling up production to the level needed for usage in EVs remains an expensive endeavor. Remember, solid-state batteries' claim to fame is a smartwatch and a heartbeat regulator. 
development costs and manufacturing difficulties are key disadvantages in producing solid-state batteries for mass-market EVs. But just as lithium-ion batteries became more affordable, the idea is that the solid-state version will also be. And automakers are making huge investments into the technology, especially with zero-emissions brand strategies and EV-only lineups being proposed. BMW and Ford are investing in $130 million in solid power, a Colorado-based solid-state battery startup. Hyundai is putting $100 million into Solid Energy Systems, a spin-off company from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Toyota, which is partnered with Panasonic, has announced that a prototype SUV featuring solid-state battery performance would debut this year. Also making investments are General Motors and Volkswagen. How far away are mass-market solid-state EV batteries? Solid-state battery cells promise major improvements to EV powertrain battery performance. How far off are they? Battery technology is emerging as a key differentiator among electric vehicle projects, with most of the EV powertrain beyond the battery pack achieving efficiency figures in excess of 95%. Improvements in battery tech offer the greatest potential for range and performance gains. Incremental improvements have been made by adjusting the chemical makeup of the cell's electrodes and electrolytes, or by optimizing the sizing, layout, and structure of cells within a battery pack. However, none of these modest improvements compares to the giant performance leap promised by solid-state batteries. Solid-state cells generally use the same lithium-ion-based chemical reaction to store and discharge energy as conventional cells. The difference lies in the electrolyte used to separate the anode and cathode to facilitate the movement of lithium ions. Conventional cells use a liquid-based electrolyte, commonly a lithium salt suspended in organic solvent while solid-state cells swap that out for a wafer-thin solid electrolyte, usually made from either ceramic, polymer, or glass. Solid-state cells are lighter and more compact than their liquid-based counterparts, meaning pack weight can be reduced or energy capacity increased. They should be more resistant to lithium dendrite formation, which will improve power discharge performance and raise potential charging speeds, along with extending the service life of the battery pack. In addition, once mass manufacturing is achieved, they should be easier and quicker to make than conventional lithium-ion cells thanks to the removal of solvents and having fewer production steps. There are even more pronounced benefits offered by solid-state cells in the field of battery safety. Fires caused by defective or damaged lithium-ion cells have been widely publicized, including the current problems faced by the Chevy Bolt and its LG-sourced batteries. In many cases, these fires occur because internal failure or external damage has caused the volatile lithium electrolyte to become exposed to the outside air, causing it to ignite and setting off a chain reaction that can destroy the whole battery pack. Solid electrolytes sidestep these problems entirely and are highly resistant to fire and explosion, even in the event that they are punctured or impacted. While they offer many theoretical benefits, no company has demonstrated the ability to mass manufacture solid state cells for light vehicles. With most still at the bench test stage, there are still a number of issues left to solve, including designing the solid electrolyte and electrodes in such a way that they interface evenly across their entire surface, because any warping can create gaps and limit cell efficiency. In addition, material stability has been shown to be a problem, with the electrolyte's brittleness leading to microscopic fractures that limit cell performance. Blue Solutions, a subsidiary of France's Bollier, has won a contract to supply its solid-state cells for Daimler's e G articulated urban bus, the first recorded commercial supply agreement for the technology. However, the optional solid-state pack needs to be deliberately heated to a relatively high operating temperature of between 50 C and 80 C, swapping some range in the process and making it inappropriate for use in light vehicles with their unpredictable usage patterns. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.